Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can flash some objects in the software. So let's go to the software. So, as I mentioned before, the idea is to have, for example, an object and start blinking. Okay, so there are two ways. You can have the square signal okay sending from the plc for another device and then the object will be uh, visible or not or what you can do is to create your blinking in the software for the object to uh, to blink so for that what i'm going to do is to create a value here so it's going to be mm -hmm, let's enable and then another one says flashing okay so what i'm going to do with that flashing is to um change the visibility of the object so for example if i have um this ellipsis over here what i want to do is to play around with the visibility size visibility i'm going to link it directly to the variable of course we have also the possibility to um to change the logic of the visibility because right now is uh it's going to be the different way it's like inverted so we can change that using the converters but that i hope will create a different video for that so we have this object linked with the variable flashing so we now need to enable the flash so for example i have um this toggle that is going to be linked to the enable variables enable flashing okay so as soon as this one is enabled then i can start creating the flash so in order to do that what we can do is to create a in all script here we can add the the periodic and here I don't know we can put um five hundred milliseconds so it's gonna be half second and here what we can do is to define something if If now I'm going to make the condition if the variable enable is in true, then what we can do is to change the value. Of the value and for that i need another one of these instead of flashing if flashing is zero i need to if it's one i need to change it so change the value here uh value change i'm gonna copy this one <coughs> flashing and move this value here false otherwise it means that it's zero and then i need to set it okay so uh if is the value is if this one is disabled then this one should be um i believe i don't know just put it in zero i believe is on but we can check it so now that we have this simulate i believe i didn't link in the enable to the so we just need to wait for this to finish and then i change the variable because i add the switch but i forgot to link this i oh, know it's already in there okay good okay as you can see it's flashing so when it's zero it's on okay or uh, let me just double check yeah when it's zero is the object is on 
and we can change that using converters okay so that this is good the only issue will be that if i have more objects i will need to create more of this and it can be a little bit tired to make all these modifications so what we can do is to play around with the converters for expression so uh, converters range expression c flash expression so here from data uh, i believe is and operator and the variable flashing so as soon as this one is right we can execute it as soon as the variable that is here it can be enabled the process so what i'm going to do now is in the old script i will i will not use this one okay good so it's not linking to the enable and i can use any other variable so here a screen here on visibility we don't need to use this particular flashing value we need to use the value this flashing of the enable plus the converter so here this visibility will be linked to the enable and the converter that i have already defined this flashing that the flashing contains this variable that is flashing internally okay so if everything goes well this should work okay you can see that it's not flashing in order to show you we can add which is the real status of the flashing so current value flashing so this one should be changing the status between 0 and 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 off and on but it will not be affecting the visibility until i add this one okay this is how it works and in this way what you can do is okay i have another variable called enable two now in the screen we just put this over here duplicate this enable two good and here we just link the visibility uh, size location visibility the number two and the same you can see over here it has the same converter so i have the main logic and only the converter to make this work and in theory it should work okay so this one will only activate this and this one this one oh, only. okay so this is how you can make some flashing objects okay you just need to create the uh, script the general script and also the converter or just send the information from the plc of the object for the visibility that you want and ah, that's it so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.